Hi, this is Principal Pang. This week we are honoring our elders. I'm going to read a book called Drawn Together. The author's name is Min Lee and the illustrator is Dan Santet. It is a story about a grandfather and his grandson's bond and relationship and the way they connect. So the author wrote, sometimes you don't need words to find common ground. I wonder what he means by that. Sometimes you don't need words to find common ground. Hmm. The author wrote this book and dedicated it to his grandparents. He says, for my grandparents and everything left me left unsaid. And for my editor, Rolton, who helps me find the right words. So I'm wondering who are you thinking about today? Which elder are you holding close to your heart? In the beginning of the story, the boy gets dropped off by his parents at his grandfather's house, and he doesn't look too happy about it. I wonder why. We sit down to have a meal together. The boy says, so, what's new, Grandpa? Grandpa replies back in their own language. They sit silently eating. Next, they watch a television show together. But the boy doesn't seem to understand what's going on because it is in a language that he doesn't know. Can we watch something else? The boy asks. Grandpa doesn't seem to throw about that either. Right when I gave up on talking, my grandfather surprised me by revealing a world beyond words. And in a flash, We see each other for the first time. I wonder what he means by that. We see each other for the first time. All the things we could never say come pouring out. It looks like the boy and the grandfather found something in common. And we built a new world that even words can't describe. Looks like through art, they're discovering something new. Something about each other. But just when we're closer than ever. Uh-oh. What's going to happen next? That old distance. There's a river of some sort and a dragon that gets in between their way. What are they gonna do now? Comes roaring back. I wonder what that dragon means or symbolizes for them. The dragon looks pretty vicious and it's keeping them apart. This time, I'm not afraid, said the boy. I wonder what he was afraid of in the beginning, before they found this common ground. What was the boy afraid of? Because I know it's that together, We can make our way across. Now after years of searching for the right words, we find ourselves happily. Speechless. So I know that sometimes it is hard for us to always, you know, communicate the right things to say. Sometimes it's not even just a language barrier. Sometimes it's distance. Sometimes it's time. 
So we always have to find a reason or a way to make sure that we keep connected, even though sometimes it can feel very hard. So whomever you are honoring today, just think about those special moments and special things that they bring into your lives. Thank you for joining me today. Happy Honors or Elder.